Okay, Steven, we just went over on uh, how all this stuff works. Uh, the blow by out the oil cap, the tailpipe, the throttle body, and the radiator. So uh, what I went ahead and did right now is uh, I removed all your plugs, and I want you to take a look at what your plugs came out to. The plugs have all that black, dirty soot on it, too. Hopefully you can see that. This one's the worst one, cylinder three. See how bad that looks. This is cylinder two. And then cylinder one. So I'm gonna put up some uh, diagrams here in a little bit about what colors you see on the spark plugs and what it means. I think black means fuel. But uh, I'll double check before I post this video. And what we're doing is, uh, what I went ahead and did was I disconnected the ignition coil so we don't spark uh, at the wires. I removed all the plugs out of your block. I got this compression tester here plugged into the number one cylinder and we're gonna write the compression readings on the whiteboard. Okay, so we went and cranked it over. What I do is I let it do 10 rotations. That's what the results are for cylinder one. You got 180 pounds. So we're gonna go write that on the whiteboard. Okay, now we're going to go to the next cylinder. And what I'm doing is I'm cranking it over 10 times. You'll hear it 10 times. So, uh, what I'm going to do is let the pressure out here and we will go to cylinder 2 now. Okay, we are at cylinder 2 and cylinder 2 is showing 140 PSI. That's uh, quite a bit of difference. So we're going to go write that on the whiteboard. Hundred and forty. Now we're going to do cylinder three. Okay, we're plugged into cylinder three. Uh, this time we're going to video the whole process. I'll just do editing so it won't make my video so long. Okay, this is what I mean by cranking it over 10 times. Oops. Let's see if I can hold it. Turn the wheel at the same time. Here it goes. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's what I mean by cranking it over ten times. Let's see what the compression is on this one. And this one reads about 155. We'll go right down the whiteboard. Boy, these beans are way, way off from one another. And I won't be able to hold the, the camera while I'm switching the the compression gauge so let me pause it for a second okay we got the gauge in cylinder four one two three four so we'll go in and crank it over again <sighs> dang it lock the steering wheel again 
Okay, you got 174,827 miles on this car. Push the clutch in. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And let's go see what we got. So we got 180 pounds, or 175, dumb light, 175, so we'll write that on the whiteboard. There's our compression test. So give me a second, I'm gonna explain your readings. Okay, so what you're looking at here is, these cylinders are allowed to have a 5% difference. We'll say five pounds, five PSIs. This is the best one, that's 180 PSIs. That's pretty much what factory's almost at. But you see how this one dropped down 140 PSI. That's a 40 pound difference. This one dropped down 155 PSI. That's a 25 pound difference. 175 pounds, that's uh, a five pound difference, which is, that's okay, 5%, five pounds. But these two middle ones, and the way these cylinders are set up, uh, one and four are paired up, two and three are paired up. So when one comes up on the power stroke, four comes on the exhaust stroke. When they go back down, uh, two and three come on the exhaust stroke and power stroke. So these two are paired and these two are paired. These two are paired okay. These ones are really low. Which is, I'm gonna take you back to your spark plugs. Now by judging on the spark plugs, That one's pretty bad. That's three. This is two, but they're all black. So I'm gonna look up the reason why they're black and explain that. Okay, hopefully you can see it clearly on the video because I'm showing you off another phone. A uh, normal spark plug. Should be nice and clean, a little bit whitish tan. That's what color the spark plug should be. But as you can see, there's that rusty ring that's around the ceramic area that connects to the actually bolt housing. Uh, that means it's leaking. So uh, I'm going to show you a picture of the black one. Now this is your spark plug. It's got oil deposits on it. Dry, crusty, and I'm going to show you what it says. It says black oily deposits on the electrodes and insulator tip points to an oil fouled plug. Oil could be leaking into the cylinder getting past pistons that are worn or valve guides that are worn. Uh, finding the source of the leak is very important. Consult a mechanic for guidance. Once the problem is addressed, you can replace the spark plug. Uh, either way, uh, if it's the rings that are worn, you're going to have to rebuild the engine. If it's the valve guides that are worn, you're going to have to remove the head to replace the the valve guides and the valve seals and also I wanted to show you this there's a PCB hose that's connected to your air cleaner it's full of oil I don't know if you can see that hopefully you can but it's going in there and it's dirtied up your inside of your throttle body I had this pulled off but uh Yeah, so it's got a lot of blow-by. Uh, blow-by is a, a symptom of worn piston rings. That means, uh, as you can tell, the compression on three of the two of the cylinders were like very low. So, as you can see on the whiteboard over there, two of the cylinders were very low. So that means it's got a lot of blow-by. So that's telling me your rings are worn. 
So the rings, the compression's getting past the rings, going into your crankcase, and then uh, pushing that oil in the crankcase, either past through your PCV valve or uh, through that tube that I just showed you right now, and getting sucked in and reburning it, and then that oil vapors is getting inside the cylinders with turning those uh, spark plugs black so i mean that's not a good thing uh this engine's a tired engine uh, i just showed you earlier how many miles it had on it so even though you don't drive it very often the odometer tells you how much mileage is on the engine itself so uh i'm recommending exploratory surgery if you want to take it that far uh, I can give you an estimate on pulling off the head and uh, examining the rest of the engine. Uh, but if you don't want to take it that far, I understand. Uh, these SR1s, I'm not really a fan of. And uh, I think you just should move on to the next uh, vehicle. <laughs> but like I said, uh, stick with Toyota, Honda, and Nissan. Can't go wrong. These Saturns, SL1s, I'm not really a big fan of. But uh, uh, I'm going to try to do some more research to see where you can find where that lean code's coming from. I'm not sure if that's triggering the lean code, but I'm going to research it further and go from there. So that'll be the end of this video. Once I find out anything else, uh, I'll make another video for you. Alrighty.